Hello, hello everyone. We are back for Prep for Wave Week. We have a, another killer panel of amazing people in our wonderful travel industry. We are talking all about supplier relationships. And I know for myself as a travel advisor, this is something that uh, I don't feel I was like too confident with in the beginning because nobody really talks about how are we supposed to work with our suppliers. Really, they tell us if you have a problem, then go to your BDM. But there is so much more that you can do with these supplier relationships. So welcome, Janet. Welcome, Chanel, to Hello, everyone. Janet, can you please do a quick intro of who you are and who you work with? Yes, and thank you so much for having me here, Rita, and a pleasure to be with you, Chanel. My name is Janet Bava, and I have the honor of being Ama Waterways Chief Marketing Officer. And I think the biggest difference I always tell folks with Alma Waterways is absolutely, you know, the focus that we have on the travel advisor community. In fact, one of my main objectives as a CMO, which you usually don't see this with other travel brands, is to focus on our travel advisor community and ensuring that you have what you need to succeed and you're leveraging all the marketing and sales tools that we have available to you to help you sell our brand. And it's a pleasure to be here and be with you, Rita, um, you know, really great supporter of Ama Waterway. So we're really, really grateful for this opportunity. Thank you for being here, Janet. And Chanel, what is your position and who do you work with? Oh, thank you so much for the opportunity, Rita. And hello to everyone, my colleague, Janet. Uh, it's such a pleasure to connect and always engage. I'm Chanel Knight with Region 7 Seas Cruises. Some of you may remember me from Norwegian Cruise Line. I was there for over 20 plus years before coming to the other side of the hallway, uh, visiting the Region family. Uh, life is literally sweet in my world at Region 7 Seas Cruises. As a director of strategic accounts, I worked with select partners, but it's important that you know at Region, we are a community. And where I may not work directly with you per se, we're all in there to ensure that you're successful. Because I can't be successful, or none of us can be, unless we're all working together. So it's about togetherness for us. And we're excited, as always, to see the resilience of our industry, your commitment to an investment in your business, and further uh, just investing in all that you have to grow your portfolio. So I'm here to help you learn more and uh, look forward to uh, celebrating and hopefully seeing you guys in person at some point soon. Woohoo! Yes, it's so exciting. I've been on a couple cruises recently, and to see the excitement in everybody's faces, every everybody is ready to get out there and start exploring the world again, especially on cruise ships. So, when we are thinking about Wave Week, really, what are your thoughts on how travel advisors should be utilizing their supp supplier partnerships? Chanel, would you like to start or I could, I'll be more than happy. I could take it from the marketing lens. I think, you know, as, as um, a marketer, I'm always looking, you, you need to think about your consumers, your clients, what are they looking for? And what we know is that small ship luxury, right, Chanel, is definitely right now the trend when it comes to consumer sentiment. And, you know, it's it, what I call the low hanging fruit right now is a small ship luxury river cruise or ocean cruise ship with Ama Waterways and Regent, of course. Um, no other brand should be, <laughs> should be mentioned, but I do think it's a huge opportunity for us to now prep. So I'm sure very much like Regent, us at Alma Waterways, we have our travel advisor portal that has lots of sales and marketing information. Now is the time to prepare all of your sales and marketing materials because what happens? Your clients are going to be reconnecting with their family and friends this holiday season. They're going to be planning future travel. And so right now is the time for you to ensure to stay top of mind. You don't have to hard sell, but you want to start to really be top of mind in terms of introducing the product, educating them on what are their options and why you're recommending a particular vacation option for them because their needs has changed. The world has changed post the pandemic. And so you as a travel advisor, you know your clients and you want to personalize the offering to them so that they know the reason why they're using your services is because you can match them to an amazing product that are guaranteed to satisfy them and have them come back 
as um, you know, as happy and, 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 and as elated as possible so they could keep booking with you. And so right now is the time to prepare for Wave. Do not wait until after the holidays in January, right, Chanel, to start doing Absolutely. your marketing and selling planning. Let's start now to start working on the materials that you're going to um, put together, what you're going to send your clients and what you're going to focus on. Because again, we have lots of choices out there. It's also about focus and working with partners that are here to support you. Absolutely. That was wonderful, Janet. And just to build on that, it is a multi-pronged approach when it comes to being prepared for wave season. I mean, from a supplier standpoint, we all get excited about this time of year, but I want to make sure that your business plans are current. Uh, as you know, we all reside in a post-pandemic world. So many strategies that we utilize pre-pandemic sort of are obsolete today because we have to look at the behavior of the consumer today. That's for your client base as well as those prospects you're looking to attract, whether you're connecting to social media, maybe some of you are back with in-person events and so forth. The other thing is making sure you go back and revisit your databases. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're segmenting properly. For many of your clients, maybe their lifestyles have changed. I know of many of my neighbors, friends, family, where they've downsized, they sold the large home, the mansion, and now they've bought a condo on the beach. So guess what? There's more reserve there. You have some that have not traveled for over 18 plus months, right? So now, of course, there's more disposable income. Many are excited to get out there. And the interesting part about our world for Janet and myself, 2022 is practically for many people over 50 percent sold 2023 is like 20 percent sold out so you have to look the booking curve has gone so much further out so when you're looking at your business plans make sure you're looking of course first at your database making sure you're having the right conversations as you're reaching out with the right clientele that's most important to janet's point that's in I think essential uh, opportunity for you is connecting over the holidays. You want it to be organic, not more so of a hard sell, right, exactly. Janet? You exactly. want to show, of course, because you followed their life cycle. You want this client to know that you really do care about their needs. Of course, they want to get away for our segment. Our clients believe, guess what? They feel entitled to travel. They feel they should have been traveling all along. <laughs> yeah. So this audience is a little different from some who may be at a different end of the spectrum. So it's keep in mind, you're going to have different conversations with different audiences. So it's be prepared, pack a little patience uh, and know that today's consumer, their mind is a little different. And guess what? People still like pictures in their cookbooks. So yeah. get those images out there. I'm sure Janet's library is full of approved <laughs> images such as ours, as well as all of your other supplier partners. Guys, utilize those resources. Yeah. Because if you can just start dropping off an image and say, picture yourself here, spring break with a couple of your friends or your girlfriends, whatever the case, you can change the conversation, whichever way you, you feel it's most essential. And then from there, you'd be surprised with the comments that come. That's data you can then take and build upon offering some type of vacation experience to your clients. Absolutely. And can I say something to, just to add to that? Because I always tell, um, you know, during our webinar Wednesdays, this information right now, we turn on the news and what are we hearing? Inflation, product delays. You know, we've all purchased a lot of product during this pandemic. It's time to spend our money on enriching experiences. That's what travel gives us. And it is the best value for your dollar. Your clients, especially the affluent clientele, they have a lot of money, but they take care of their dollar and how they spend it. And right now they're going to get the best value because you could get the best you know, deals right now in the travel industry. It's the only product that has zero inflation. In fact, it's actually, you know, a great value. Some of the, some of the, you know, the, the deals that we have out there, they're unprecedented. And so now is the time to stop buying products. Amazon has made a lot of money. You know, they don't need any more money. Now it's time for your clients to shift their spend and shift it on travel and make sure that you check their passport. I can't even remind them that, right? You said it, they've been 18 months without traveling internationally. You want to check that passport because it's taking a long time. Everyone's now starting back up with their international travels. Make sure you check that passport. 
that i love that we spend enough money on product it's time yeah. to spend it on experiences i wrote that down because i'm like oh that's i can use, use that it yes. <laughs> all of you should use it everyone listening in you should use that line when you're talking right. to your clients you let them know you bought the purses the watches you bought all the home gadgets now it's time for you to spend some money on enriching experiences especially the grandparents that haven't seen their grandchildren the multi-generational travel we're seeing a boom on group business and group travel especially large families who were away um, from each other for a long time. So there's so much opportunity for us to go in conquest these days. Yes, I love it. The other point that you guys both had mentioned was about using your assets. And I will have to say, using those pictures that you or your companies have both invested thousands of dollars right. in are way better than anything you can find on the free stock, the Pixabay. Hundreds the of thousands of dollars. I know Regent spends a lot of money too. <laughs> and they probably, you know, you probably have a bigger budget than I do, Chanel, but we spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on these tools and platforms that you access with our marketing and sales tools, right? And I know Chanel probably spends a lot of time calling up corporate and saying, I need this, I need that, being your advocate as to what else do we need to provide you for marketing and sales. So take advantage of that. That's free, complimentary to you. Right, right. Um, kind of going down, there's so many suppliers that we can choose to work with. Do What are your personal feelings on suppliers kind of narrowing down and working with a few of their own preferred suppliers like many of the host agencies do? Chanel, please go first. Sure. Well, when it comes to uh, supplier partners, it's like boiling the ocean, right? Everybody has a product for you to sell and you're a for-profit organization as we are. So when it comes to working with your partners, it's finding that core group and definitely that partner that has your back, especially in a time like now. And I think we've all been put to the test and we all have made some little notes along the way and you all realize who's there for you when it really matters because things happen, nothing is perfect. So that's one thing we have to get beyond. Our life is fluid at this point right now. Therefore, with it being that way, work with a core group of partners and even segment your business, whether it be river, whether it be ocean travel, maybe it's land, all inclusives, whatever segment that you're focusing on. It's important that you have that core group of suppliers there because you need a balanced portfolio because, again, you're a for-profit organization. Yeah. And doing so with that, from that point on, making sure you are an expert in those products. And I say that because post-pandemic, you've had a great deal of time to actually take advantage of courses like with Janet, as well as myself and many others. Uh, maybe it's some of the host agencies that put off some, you know, some events. TLN just had a conference. I know there were tons of workshops. So there was plenty of time to invest in knowledge and learning because knowledge makes a difference, especially for the affluent traveler. They want to know that you have confidence and conviction in what you're presenting to them. If they sense any hesitancy, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry to say they're contacting my direct sales Team. And for me and my position, that is not good for me. And I'm not happy about that. Mm -hmm. I want them to work directly with you. And we work hard and Janet and her team works hard in making sure that your phones are ringing, your inboxes are being full because we're driving that business to you. So it's important that you look at those supplier partners, you're working with them, you know about their product. Many things have changed. Many may have rebranded. We went from all-inclusive, luxurious experience to every luxury is included. So the tone changes, the feel, the vibe changes. And then also it's important to know health and safety protocols. I know Janet's company has invested millions of dollars as well as ours, the NCLH family. I know the royal family because we partnered with them through all this process as well as many others. So there's been so many changes, ladies and gentlemen. The rich promotional offers that Janet spoke of earlier. It's good to know the combinability factor. How do you maximize those opportunities, your earning potential, 
for-profit organizations, we want you to earn the most commissions you possibly can. So look at how you can combine offers. You're not looking to sell 199 deals, especially with so much, so many voyage suspensions. And, you know, many did pay out commission, but there was a time where there was no commission being paid. So how do we reap and make up that loss, right? And then go forward. So it's important that you look at everything because it's just like, it's like this pot, pot of stew, right? <laughs> There's so many different ingredients here that you really need to be focused on and that you really need to leverage when it comes to working with those key supplier partners because you can't be everything to everyone. It's impossible. And then you don't wanna overwhelm yourself because as business, you need to take time to breathe time to focus and get yourself zone in the zone to make sure you're balanced. Guess what? We're all going through something, trying to figure our way through it. Nobody has all the answers. So mm -hmm. even if you're not familiar with a supplier partner, it's still good to know of a product and how to locate the information if you're not an expert. Mm -hmm. Yes, I would love to add to that. Everything that Ch Chanel said, honestly, is right on, on point. The only thing I would really add to that is, you know, brands are defined by how they manage challenging situations, right? When, oops, my light just went off. We're trying to <laughs> make sure. So when, when you know, when everything is smooth sailing and, and everything is, you know, nice and peachy, all brands are excellent product and supplier that you can choose to put your clients on. But who is the brand that's going to be by your side supporting you when things go awry, when things become challenging? That's how you select your suppliers. You need to remember who was with you, stood by you, next to you during the most challenging times, how accessible they were during the most challenging times. Because, again, when everything is nice and peachy, right, all brands are great. The hospitality industry is filled with amazing brands that deliver amazing products, highly satisfactional to your clients. But you, because you are a for-profit business, I love that, Chanel, that you use that. You need to look at your um, reputation as a business. Your clients want question, have questions. You need to get them answers. And to your point, sometimes we don't have all the answers. We have to contact the supplier. Are they accessible to you? Do they have what you need? Are the consistency? I mean, you're, you're right. We came with so many challenges, but I think consistency is key. Learning, we made, you know, some of us also made some mistakes, but how we address those mistakes, that is what truly defines a brand and a company and an organization. And I think that's how you select. You should definitely select the few by each category, spread your portfolio. I love that, Chanel. I mean, so nicely said, but also choose a brand that in the most challenging times, you know that you can count on them to support your business. Yes, I love that. When when you are both thinking about travel advisors who you've worked with in the field, mm -hmm. what makes the travel advisor different, the ones that you know that you communicate with on a regular basis, what makes them different from advisors that you don't have a relationship with? Go ahead, Janet. Okay. I was going to say, you know, I, um, I love travel advisors emailing me, contacting me, asking questions, not fearing, you know, I, nowadays everyone is very accessible through emails and, you know, we're always connected with our phones. And so I always tell travel advisors, if it's going to save you, you know, if you're holding, you know, our reservations department, sometimes on Monday mornings, our lines are, you know, 20 minute hold times. If it's going to save you, you know, you being on the phone for 20 minutes holding, send me an email. You know, I think accessibility, those are the ones, the ones who are out there at these events, networking with us, getting contact information, you know, with building relationship. This is a relationship business. So the strongest travel advisors are the ones who build relationships with their favorite suppliers and brands and across that organization in the marketing department, in the sales department, in the reservations department. And they then can access the individuals within the organization that are there and available to help them when they need so. So this is a relationship business. You can learn so much from us. We're continuously learning right like we learn yes. something new every day here and we want to communicate that to you so ask questions and if we don't know the answer to them you know we will certainly help you find and locate that answer you know your bdm your business development manager they don't have the answers to all the questions because things are evolving and changing every single day but if you have a bdm that can you know you can contact and ask that question and get you the response that you need and really be an advocate for you within the organization you are going to succeed so be proactive and get engaged and network this is a time to network and build relationships within the industry and with your favorite suppliers. 
That was well said, Janet. And if I can add to that, as many events are really starting to come back online, uh, I was at Clea Cruz 360 this mm -hmm. summer, and even after thousands of people, I think there were only like two cases in the end. So right. to Janet's point, guess what? Things are going to happen. But it's like, how do we handle those situations? That's that some of what we're doing at our line and shifting mm -hmm. that discussion. But I think some of the most successful advisors, to your point, is the group that's attending today, Rita, the group that's going to be listening later on demand, those investing in their business, those who are most passionate about what they do. Because when you love what you do, it's not work. When I talk, it's so funny. My guys, I call them my boys. That's my uh, SVP and my president. When I talk, they like, you get me so excited. I want to take a region <laughs> crew because I'm excited about what I do. I have one of the yes. best jobs in the world. And when someone asks you what you do, I hope you tell them I sell the world. How can I get you to your next destination? I hope that's a conversation and a line that you're using when you're engaging with those out there. So when it's selling yourself and telling what all you do and what's next, I just think there's just, again, it's you have to have that passion in there. And when it comes to resources, knowing where to locate these things, how to engage from industry events, when there's CLIA, Cruise 360, I know Cruise World, I think is next week, uh, ship inspections. Those are opportunities when, and I know even with the riv river cruise ships, I was mm -hmm. uh, in Europe and I remember many going between ships. They were touring, actually, AMA ships. Uh, mm -hmm. I was on a Uniworld ship, but they were they were touring AMA ship while I was there and they had the beautiful scarf and everything. And I said, oh, that was nice. So it's just other little touches, but it's still so much that you learn from one another. Yes, seeing is believing. Oftentimes, guys, we know you're busy and you can't possibly get out there to get to the best to have that firsthand experience. Right now, so many supplier partners are offering opportunities for you to try their products, FAM opportunities, education investment opportunities, take care of things of such. And I love to say when you're on someone's product, I hope you're taking, uh, having a live video, you have a uh, Instagram story. I'm in into Instagram right now. You have a Facebook live going and you're taking your audience on the tour and they're experiencing it firsthand and you're building that excitement with them. So when you come home, you continue the conversation and it, it turns out it results ultimately into a sale. So it's just showing your clients that you're back out there as well. So let that passion exude through you. Let them see your action by being out there. I hope you're traveling. I hope whether it be to a theme park, hotel, wherever the case may be, bring the audience with you, yeah. help them engage, show them that it's okay, it's safe. And even if something happens, there are uh, measures in place. So it's just ways to think different, to differentiate yourself, especially I hear many partners are concerns about dot com companies. So even with that environment, do something that Costco cannot do. Yeah. So it's important you work hard at differentiating yourself because what you provide is priceless, ladies and gentlemen. So it's important that you show that your value here is what differentiates my services so that they continue coming back. And to Janet's point earlier about you remaining top of mind, find ways to connect. Everything doesn't have to be a hard sell. It can nope. be a soft sell. It could be a card in the mail. We're coming up to the holidays. Maybe you're thinking sending a great grateful card I'm thinking of you, wishing you and your family. Uh, we have recipes time. online. You know what our number yes. one clicked on content is on Instagram? Recipes. Mm -hmm. Who's not yes. be cooking? I mean, if you're not spending time on board one of our ships during the holidays, so letting us cater to your every need and you're back home, you know, cooking, you know, a beautiful recipe. I think we've all gone during the pandemic a little bit better at cooking. I know I personally yes. have. <laughs> So I could use a good recipe here or there because I'm not an expert chef or cook. So, you know, a soft sell like that. Here's a wonderful yes. recipe of a dish that I tried on board the, you know, on the waterways or region and, and, you know, share that with them. That's not a hard sell, but that keeps you top of mind. Absolutely. I love what you both have been saying because I feel if we were just talking with Ricky, me, Rita, my own travel business, this is the communication I would have with my VDM or strategic account manager. So when when others, when advisors go to these key players to help them strategize for 2022, 
what is some information that they need to be bringing to their BDMs or their supplier partners in order for the supplier partner to be able to help them strategize for 22? Well, for me, I look to find out what your goal is so that I know how to align with you. I can throw the kitchen sink at you, but if it's not aligned with where you would like to go, you may say, Chanel, I want to grow my business by 10% in this sector. Here's what I, or I may want to focus on more first time region clients as opposed to my past guests because you guys solidify that and that business continues on on its own so it really depends on what your uh, your goal is and listening listening i think is essential more so than anything to what you have to share it's great up and I love to talk about everybody's family, what's been happening throughout the pandemic. But when it comes to your business, I'm excited to know. I want you to be successful. I want you to grow. I want to see you do something different. I want to see you approach your sales different this sector, maybe 2022 and beyond, because there's product open into 2024 for us. I'm not sure for Janet if they have 2024 out there. So it's important that we really broaden the conversation, but that that we have components in there as to what else is on the list? What else would you like to do? Uh, what else is on your wonderless list? What are your marketing campaigns? What are they consisting of? Not just regular sales, but are you speaking to touch points where consumers are looking forward to making new memories and capturing the essence of travel through whatever lens they choose to use in this particular region of the world? So it's finding a way to make travel uh, just exciting again. Yeah. So that's what we want to see so that we can align and say, well, guess what? Here's what we can do for you. And here's where there's funding to help you extend your reach to also get your message out there and your brand, because you too are a brand that's ex an extension of our brand. So it's important that we all align ourselves so that we can be on the same page going forward. Janet? Yes. And I just wanted to add to that. I'm a big proponent of planning ahead, especially during a time like wave season where you're going to be very heavily booking on the phone. So plan ahead your marketing so that you can do more selling during wave. That's the name of the game. So what you want to do is sit down with your business development manager and plan your marketing for the year or for the quarter. Plan out, find out what are the offers that you're going to have in place. Start building your email campaigns. Start building your social media campaigns. Start building your website content now so you don't have to worry about that when you're actually selling and busy on the phone during Wave, servicing and pushing all of your leads down the funnel. And to your point, yes, find out, do you need to generate more leads? Do you have um, enough leads to get you to the numbers that you want to get to in the future? Okay, so if, if, if you don't have enough leads, Let's go and see what we can do to start acquiring some, get connected with the community. If you really, I mean, retention to me is incredibly important. And we should always have a nice marketing mix. You should not be so focused on generating so many new leads that you lose track of and the relationships in the existing business, because it's a lot easier to convert an existing client than it is to acquire a new one. It's also a lot more cost effective. So you want to have a nice marketing mix. You want to plan your marketing now. Plan the email copy ahead of time with your BDM. What should be promoting when? If you're going to be taking out a group, group business is ex extremely lucrative. It's an extremely great way during Wave to focus on a specific day, itinerary products. If you have a you know series of groups available with your different suppliers, you want to plan out your marketing so that you can focus on selling, converting, and booking business during Wave. Wonderful. I think we knocked out a little bit, but we're back. <laughs> Okay. We just have a few more minutes left. Advisors, if you have any questions for Janet or Chanel, please mm -hmm. pop them into the comment box and I will go ahead and put them up so we can answer them for you. Anything regarding supplier relationships or even on the waterways or Regent Seven Seas, go ahead, pop those in now. I'm going to, let's talk a little bit as we wrap up. What are some things that are on the horizon for both of your companies? So Chanel, let's go ahead. I'm going to pop up your portal information. So what's what's coming up for Regent 7 season that advisors can take advantage of? 
Awesome. So we'll be, of course, floating out more teasers about my new lady. I call our ships ladies. Seven Seas Grandeur, and she's a heritage of perfection. That's truly raising the bar on luxury. And as you know, we deem ourselves as having the most luxurious ocean fleet out there. So I definitely encourage you to get behind this particular vessel. It launched actually for sale back in September, uh, September 22nd. Uh, but definitely the new vessel that's there. Also enhancements when it comes to the way you communicate our offers or just our product for awareness to your client base. So now brochures are available via QR codes. So of course, we're all functioning in a digital world now. Maybe some are still, of course, this audience likes tangible items. They're still mm -hmm. hard copies, but our new major brochure is not available until Q1. So we're still functioning primarily in a digital world. So, but there's assets there available at the click of a button. I think you'll see, of course, as we continue to roll out more uh, rich promotional offers. We're definitely keeping that focus for not just the consumer facing, for our audience is a little different, uh, but especially for the advisor facing. So wherever there's an opportunity to have a gift card of some kind, something that can be earned earlier payment or after post the cruise. So there's great opportunities from a sales promotion, uh, of course, engaging at different industry events when we host <clears throat> events through Travel Age West or whether it be Cruise 360 or Cruise World at the gala, we host dinners. So it's just staying engaged with us, staying connected with us, follow us on social media, stay engaged with your BDM. Oftentimes they have uh, many incentives outside of the company-wide promotions. So that's definitely something that I think is more favorable for the local uh, agent as opposed to those who, like myself, work primarily with the headquarters division. So when it comes to local marketing, we have our business development managers. Some may be in a region where we have our DOSMs, our director of sales and marketing as well, because as you know, sales teams have many layers. There's not just one size fits all. And then, of course, again, it's just making sure that you're staying up to date with the health and safety protocols, the purple cow in the room, because that never it's not going to go away. But it's important that you continue to have the conversation that cruising has always been safe. The safety and health protocols have been always been above uh, standard. And although we're held at a different um, standard from other industries uh, because of the CDC. That's why the spotlight is always on us. So it is a unique world, but we do everything possible to ensure we can supersede our guest expectation and stay tuned because I think my last two vessels will be back in the water in Q1. So those are updates I'm sure that uh, you guys could use and your clients probably want to know. So awesome. thank you. Love it. Thank you. And then, Janet, what's going on with On the Waterways as we head into the end of the year, beginning of next year? Yes, and so I'm with you. We're so excited. We have now, you know, tw almost 20 ships sailing. We'll have all, you know, really hopefully as soon as, you know, Asia opens up, we'll, we'll have all of our ships on the fleet for 2022. But if you haven't experienced On the Waterways, I want you to start by booking your fam. We have lots of fam opportunities coming up in the next, you know, three months for you to come and join us. There's no better selling tool than for you getting familiar with the brand, the product. I could not believe coming from the ocean um, you know, luxury world. When I first world, stepped on first the first ship in the river cruising, how luxurious and beautiful it was. was. You need to see it firsthand what it is to travel internationally for your client. So that's first foremost. There's a lot of last minute bookings coming in for Christmas markets. Try and earn that commission now. If you you know don't don't also take your finger off the pulse from a short term last minute business. You can absolutely promote that. What's coming in the future? We're really excited about the various partnerships that we have. Heritage Travel has been really big. We launched a partnership with Ancestry.com, pro genealogists, people who want to know about their heritage. You know, Europe, we all know, is really, you know, um, where a lot of civilization was built and grown before a lot of people headed out here west. And so a lot of us have family heritage tied to Europe. And we all want to go and visit, you know, and, and, and walk the footsteps of our ancestors, learn more about our family history and this is a great opportunity for you to do so and then we also are most excited about our seven river journey we are honestly we launched the longest river cruise
Cruz. And, you know, I'm very happy to report, and I don't know if you know this, but one of our first clients for the Seven River Journey was actually a World Cruise client of Regent. They're departing on May from the World Cruise and Regent, joining us a week later on our Seven River Journey. So can you imagine they're going to go and tour the world through Re with Regent on the oceans, and then they're going to come and join us for 46 nights on the rivers and continue to explore. And this is a great client. I mean, amazing client for that travel advisor. What a great commission check. And I think, you know, one of the biggest surprises for me personally in speaking to travel advisors who think, I don't know if I have a Seven River Journey client on in my database. You don't know until you start marketing it. Believe me, it is a great product for you to start marketing, whether that's through Instagram, Facebook, through social media. We have a special toolkit. You have all the marketing and sales tool available for you on our agent portal. And so please use our tools for, so that you can go and conquest these ideal clients that you want to have in your portfolio, in your book of business, because the opportunities there, it's very lucrative. I can tell you that, you know, selling an AMA Waterways cruise and a region cruise, I'm sure your commission checks are going to come with four digits. And the amount of time that you're going to spend on, in, in that selling process is probably equal to the amount of time that you would spend on any mass market product. So really choose the brands wisely. Choose the products that you're selling and promote it wisely so that you can make the best use of your time. Um, and finally, you know, we have our wonderful wine cruises. I think we've all drank a little bit more wine at home. <laughs> uh, I know I have consumed a little bit more wine and become a little bit of a wine snob, I would say. And so really one of our over 60 wine hosted cruises where we get to introduce you to some of the most popular brands here in the U.S. And we really converge, you know, new world wine tastes from the U.S. with old world where the wine making began over in Europe. And these are huge opportunities for you to come and experience your clients to come and experience the brand and these unique experiences you cannot find anywhere else other than the rivers of, of Europe, Asia, and Africa. Oh, Terry. Hi, Terry. All right. Terry, what up on you, Terry? <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I have to share Terry's comment because yeah, I was going to say I took a, a ton of notes in this session too. So you ladies provided some super value for everybody. And I think we got lots, lots of nuggets to help us out in our businesses and hopefully some more AMA and more regions in 2022 and 2023 and beyond. So Can I add a statement to that? So I sell the world. Let me create your next enriching experience and provide you with an exclusive offer you cannot get anywhere else because of my relationship with Regent or AMA Waterways. That's where the travel advisor wins over Costco, over any dot com out there. That's I mean, there's so much. Here's another thing. There's so much information out there in the World Wide Web. Fake news has become even more of an issue when so people, the skepticism that people have when they're searching online, you need someone, an expert to validate the information that you're reviewing online. Be that expert. Don't, you know, don't, don't, don't think as dot com as your competition. That's just a way for people to get information and to navigate and to validate the information that you're giving them. So be very confident about what your services are, what you sell and the brands that you sell. Don't worry about the competition. Focus on your business, focus on your growth, and it will definitely come. I love that. I did this in the uh, in the last session. I was like, pretend this is a microphone. That was a mic drop moment. Here. So, so many important in, uh, bits of information that we needed to hear. I needed to hear. And it, this is like a very re reinvigorating session. I know like this is going to be one it's recorded. So this is going to be one I see many people coming back to. So thank you, Janet. Thank you, Chanel. Thank you so much, advisors, for being here. Study Hall is going to be starting in just a minute if you purchase the Study Hall Pass. And I will see you soon. Have a wonderful day. Tomorrow, we are starting with, oh, now I forget. Now I forget. But tomorrow, we have a 12 p.m. session and a 3 p.m. session. I forget what our 12 o'clock session is. But our 3 p.m. is continuing the conversation on building relationships. So I look forward to seeing you there. Have a good afternoon. Chanel, so great seeing you.